Mark Austin new this morning. Bear County Sheriff's deputies are investigating a deadly shooting on the northeast side. Deputies say it happened shortly after 11 last night in the 6800 block of Stockport. They say a woman came home and found her boyfriend shot in the chest. Neighbors say they saw a dark colored SUV leaving the scene around that time. There was a baby in the house who's currently staying with his grandmother during the investigation. Detectives are looking for the vehicle that left the area. San Antonio police looking for information that will help them find suspects in two unrelated crimes. First, they say these two people held up a Northside convenience store back in January. Officers say the suspects walked into a 7-Eleven in the 12,000 block of West Avenue, one of them holding a gun, a handgun rather, the other had a rifle. Police say they threatened a store clerk and customers. They demanded cash, but the employee could not open the safe, so they took off. Police also looking for these three people. Officers tell us they believe the group stole a key fob in order to take a car in the 200 block of Yukon Boulevard. Police said they took a 2011 Model 350 Silver Mercedes Benz. It was later found that a nearby apartment complex, if you know anything that can help, please solve these cases. Call Crime Stoppers at 210-224-STOP. One month after the first special election was announced, the race for state district 125 is set to come to an end in runoff today. Democrat Ray Lopez and Republican Fred Ron Hill going head to head for the seat left vacant by Representative Justin Rodriguez. House District 125 starts just west of downtown and stretches northwest around Loop 1604 in Bandera. Lopez says transportation funding is at the top of his list of concerns. Ron Hill says he's most concerned with education funding. Polls for today's special runoff election are open now and close at 7 o'clock tonight. You can catch results on the night beat at 10. That's all for now. More news anytime on our website at ksat.com.